Morning YouTube, I'm going to be doing my final review today and it's Harry Potter 4 and the Goblet of Fire the book. This I thought was a very good read. I like the fact that in this book there are things that there weren't in the film. So for instance, at the Quidditch mat, well the Quidditch World Talk, well Cup I should say, there is the second house elf Winky who is part of Barty Crouch and Barty Crouch Senior's house. Um, and her interaction with Harry Potter and all the other characters. <clears throat> there is the scene where the, Weas the uh, Weasleys turn up at um, the Dursleys' house, and um, as we know, Dudley, being a little fat bloke, goes and picks up all the sweets that fall out of one of the Weasley twins' pockets, and his whole tongue swells up, <clears throat> and uh, the dad has to sort that out. Um, the fight between Voldemort and Harry after he returns is much longer and is in better detail than it is in the film. <clears throat> um, there's Hermione's campaign for Spew. Don't ask me to say what it is because I can't do it all. But it's something to do with the house elves. Um, there's the secret about Hagrid being half giant but to be fair you kind of knew that already. And then <clears throat> Harry re-meeting Sirius in a mountain near Hogsmeade. Now that should have been left in the film because okay, it would have been a little bit longer, but it would have been able to have been done. And I think that's personally a bit of a, pro a you know a letdown really from the filmmakers. I can see why they didn't do it, but even if they only picked one of them, you know they could have done that, and it would have been a much better film. I mean, it is a good film already, but well. If you count Ralph Fiennes' his poor, poor face, yeah, that's my problem between the depiction of Voldemort in the book and the film. In the film, he looks too soft. In the book, though, yeah, like for instance, all right, in the film, he looks human still. You know, it's just, and he talks very sort of very British and that sort of stuff. But in the comp, in the um. In the book, he's described as being quite grotesque looking now, and his hand has got, um, so, so we've got like one, two, three pieces to your finger, he's actually got a fourth, so it's kind of like, like that, you know, opening tins of, tins of beans must be really easy, right? like, yeah, evil. <clears throat> um, and in this version, obviously, um, Cedric Diggory still gets killed. Um, that's actually a lot quicker than it is in the film. My little theory is that in the film, when they have Robert Patterson doing it, or Shovel Face, if you ever watch Honest Trailers, which I'll put them on for the Twilight series, my th my little joking theory is that he dies from a Vada Kedavra and then comes as Cedric Diggory and then comes back as Edward Cullen, a bloody vampire. Um, that's probably how it happened because he got killed in Harry Potter, bitten by a vampire in that one, and then came back to haunt us as um, Edward Cullen. I think that's how they've managed to put that across. <clears throat> I'll, like I said, I'll put the um, links to Honest Trailers for that. They are worth watching. They're actually really funny. I've now moved on to Harry Potter 5. I haven't got my Kindle with me at the moment, but I've just got up to the part where um, Harry's been... Harry wants to join the Order of the Phoenix and Sirius has talked to him about his mum and they've detoxed all the um, kitchen and all the silverware etc. So I'll be back with that once I've read it um, and hopefully I'll finish it by the end of this month because I'm going away for two weeks so there won't be any videos for that point but <clears throat> we've got four weeks left so my next one I'm going to do will be Gungrave. Gungrave and possibly um, the Love Hina series if I get a chance. And if I finish Harry Potter 5, then I will do that. Okay, have a good day, YouTube. I'm going to because, as you can see outside my window, it looks quite sunny out, and I'm going to go and enjoy my day. Okay, have fun.